Are you thinking about buying a home this year, but hearing rumors that we're in some kind of bubble and maybe you should wait till prices come down? Well, today I'm sharing some valuable market information that will help you with that decision. So definitely stay tuned. If you are new here, my name is Shira Adato. Here on this channel, I cover what it's like to live, eat, work, play in the South Bay of Los Angeles. And of course, everything to do with buying and selling in the real estate market here in Southern California. So a lot of people speculating that this crazy seller's market, bidding wars and home selling, you know, hundreds of thousands above list price means that we're in a bubble. They fear that perhaps prices will come down and maybe they should wait to buy. So today I want to talk to you about what some of the analysts are saying and give you some real world examples of people who actually had to make that same decision. So let me start with some stories for you. Back in 2019, when the seller's market started to heat up and we thought things were crazy compared to today, it was actually nothing, but um, it was competitive still in 2019 and we had the same sort of conversation going on about, is this a bubble? Are prices gonna come down? A lot of people have post-traumatic syndrome from what happened in 2008, even though we're in very different market conditions than what happened back then. And I do have another video on that topic. Um, I'll include a link um, for you to check out um, if you wanna hear more on that topic. But with people speculating that there was a bubble back in 2019 even, there were the brave souls who went ahead and purchased the home. And let me tell you a little bit about the equity gains that those buyers are now realizing. So I had a family buy a single family home in Gardena in the late half of 2019. Their home recently appraised for $60,000 more than what they paid for it in 2019. Another family who purchased in Redondo Beach in the $900,000 range, now realizing equity of over $90,000, more than what they paid for, for the home. And last but not least, another family in Torrance who purchased a home in 2020 during the pandemic, and because of a job transfer, now they have to sell the home. They just accepted an offer on a home they bought less than a year ago for almost $200,000 more than what they paid for the home last year in 2020. So those kind of equity gains, I don't know where you can um, get that return on investment with any other investment out there today. And then if you think about what you're paying in rent, so let's just take a, a monthly rent payment of $2,000, which is actually considered low in this area, but $2,000 is $24,000 a year, which you are putting in the pocket of your landlord versus building equity in your home. So equity gains would be the number one reason why waiting to buy is not always a great decision. Now, the second thing that's coming into play is interest rates. The analysts are saying that the only reason we would start to see price decreases would be if interest rates start to go up. Well, if interest rates go up, your buying power decreases. So even though the prices might be coming down, you won't be able to afford as much home. So that would offset any price decreases that you would see. And let's talk about what those price increase forecasts are from the analysts. So at the beginning of 2021, a lot of the housing industry was a little conservative about where we saw home prices going. So let me tell you, um, the Mortgage Bankers Association, they were predicting in January of 2021, 5.1%. Their revised forecast is now 10.3% increase in prices for the year 2021. Fannie Mae were at 4.2 in January, now up to 8%. Freddie Mac, 5.3, and now revised to 6.6. .6. So they're a little more conservative. Same goes for the National Association of Realtors, who had predicted around 6% price increase forecast, now up to 6.6. .6. So if you take an average of all those forecasts, it was in the low 5%, now heading up towards 8%. And that's significant when you're talking about the home prices that we see here in Southern California in the million dollar and above range. So I hope you found that helpful. This is all information to help you make a better decision about whether or not you're ready to buy or you should wait. If you have questions about that, you can always feel free to reach out to me and take a look at some of the other videos on this channel where I talk about what's going on in the Southern California housing market, how to get your offer accepted in the competitive bidding war, and more tips on buying and selling. 
Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.